What a what bad guy! Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, that's a massive spike. Yeah, that that's yeah. Okay, okay that was the silent podcast. Yeah, that's for you all. welcome back to the silent podcast. You don't remember we that, talked about this that's last the name, week? Just silent podcast. Yeah. And right now we're trying an entirely new setup, completely. Oh yeah, new setup so Alex won't be really loud or really quiet. Yeah, I don't know why. He's not sitting so on the ball forward. anymore. That's what. That's what. Alex, you like sitting on ball? Heck yeah, I do. That sounds a little uh, raunchy. This entire, like, through the series yeah. of episodes we've done, each one we just dive deeper and deeper into how Alex is sexual. Yeah, what is Alex's sexuality? Is it A, straight? Wrong. B, anything else? It's C, all of the above. Oh. <laughs> yes. Pansexual it is. No, just all of the above. Oh, all of the above? So Wait. it's straight and what was B? Anything else? Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, anything. He's everything and you anything. You like animals. I'm anything and everything. Alex is a furry, guys. Confirm. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Alex is a furry. Okay. Are you going to keep saying okay, or are you going to actually okay. say... Okay. Okay. He's saying okay, guys. He's a furry. <laughs> He's a furry. He's a furry. <laughs> I'm like, Alex, are you a furry? Okay. <laughs> okay. He he is a rope bunny, and word bunny's in it, so... Bunnies are really cute. I gotta say that. You like bunnies? Did you, what did you think of Zootopia? Oh my, I was mowing one oh, day, no, no, no. and I was mowing my neighbor's yard, and there was this uh, rabbit's nest or bunny's nest you just in the it? ground. You I was it. about to run it over, but as I was like, as I got right next to it, like dozens of baby bunnies just flew out and just ran everywhere, and I was so scared that I ran over a baby bunny. That would have been messed but up. But I did not. Thank goodness. It was terrifying. Alex, can you answer the question I asked? Zootopia? Yeah, what did you think of it? I thought it was a good movie. Me were too. You, were you sexually attracted to the animals? Okay. Did you like Hop? Nah, nah, I wasn't. Hop? Is a bunny. What's her name? Uh, yeah. J- Julie. Jules? Rabbit. Rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> Silly rabbit. Prince of you the didn't kids. like the nudist place? We're not sponsored yet. Nudist place. I, I haven't seen the movie in oh. like a year or two. I watched two, the so. movie like two days ago. What movie? Zootopia. Oh. Wasn't it, um... Yes. <laughs> Didn't it have adult themes of like, uh, police racism? Yeah. Police like, brutality. Yeah, it had racism. Yeah, racism. Abuse. All yeah. Disney movies have stuff like that. You just have to look for them. Like, what, what's another example of that? Besides Zootopia. Um, uh... Oh! Apparently, Lion King is about how, um... Monarchy is better than fascism. Or communism is better. No, Scar is communist. I forget. Scar is communism because, like, equality for all hyenas. Everyone's equal. A lot of uh, Disney movies, are like, they portray racism. Yeah. Like, the only raunchy or, like, adult thing that I remember from Disney movies was in A Little Mermaid when Ariel and, like, the prince got married, the priest who was marrying them. Had like a little. That was his knees. Was that his knees? That was his knees. I thought he was popping one. No, no that was his knees, bro. Zach, no have you ever seen the movie Ponyo? Oh my gosh! Yes. Is the fish girl? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah. I want to I talk about this for one second. I know you haven't because you don't watch Studio Ghibli. But I, I'm not a weeb. Pony, it's not a weeb. Like Studio Ghibli Spirit Away is one of the most. I watched this as a little movies. kid and I didn't know what it was. Like, we've got a movie from Redbox, but, like, it gave us the wrong movie, and it gave us Ponyo. Really? And we watched that instead, and we were very... Yeah. Scared. Ponyo's a great movie. No. You don't like Ponyo? No. You were terrified? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Why is there a big ocean lady? <laughs> and, like, the girl was a fish, but yeah. she's a girl now? Like, Have you ever seen Spirit Away? No. It's the second, like, most rewarded um, uh, animation movie ever. What's the first? <laughs> First, like, uh, like, talk to me. Some it's another anime uh, anime movie. Oh, okay. Um, but Ponyo is another version of the Little Mermaid tale. It is. If um, it, it's actually more represented by the Hans Zimmerman one, but um, Little Mermaid, Disney actually accepts. It's not Hans Zimmerman. It's Hans Christian Andersen. I don't know his name. He's Hans. Hans Zimmerman he wasn't that like the guy, the guy who, who made the, the music for Disney. Oh yeah. yeah, that's what I think of him. But um, Disney accepts ocean pollution of Little Mermaid because Ariel has a bunch of uh, like knickknacks and stuff that's been thrown into the ocean. Yeah. Where Ponyo, 
is completely the opposite way, and it throws all the garbage back out into the people. The fish are gonna revolt. Yes, yeah, like Aquaman. The fish are revolting. Oh, it is like Aquaman. Aquaman's Ponyo real. Ponyo was Aquaman, but <laughs> better. The boy Ponyo falls in love with is Aquaman. I really <laughs> hope Aquaman and Ponyo become. Like Ponyo. <laughs> Ponyo. That's that, n- that's not right. What what is it? Ponyo. Ponyo. Like a pond. You know what this girl looks like, Alex? Ponyo? Yeah. She looks like Little Mermaid, too, because she's red-haired. No, she does not look like Little Mermaid <laughs> she looks at like all. I'm calling up a picture. Not at all. What do you mean? I have all Studio Ghibli movies. Yeah, you told me Ponyo that. is one of my favorites. Bro, how did... She's not... Th- this is the little girl. I thought it was the fish. What? She, she turns, is a fish. Yeah, she, she turns... You know how Ariel turns into a human? Oh, yeah. She turns into a fish? Yes. No, she is a fish. It's just like a little mermaid. No, she is a fish and she turns into a human. It's the little mermaid story. Ponyo is actually a closer representation of it. Which came later? Ponyo is first. So Disney ripped off some of her ones. All Disney princesses are rip-offs. Yeah, I guess that's true. All Disney movies are rip-offs, actually. Even... Ponyo as a fish is just a, a human with a fish body. Yeah. And it's very scary. Her face is a human face on a fish body. It's, it's not ter- even a fish body. It's just like a... It's like her dress. Like a Teletubby. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It reminds me of like the thing one, thing two. It's <laughs> the little circle. It's yeah. thing yeah, yeah. two. What was it? Uh, Lion King rip off of a Japanese um, Lion King. It's like Kimba? I forget his name. Wait, who's Rip Off? Lion King? What about what? It's a rip off of some Japanese animation. I don't no, think so. Japanese people are stupid. It's called you Kimba. Can't be racist, Kimba the White right? Lion. Wait, never mind. Racism's okay, guys. No, that's God. right. Racism's Ain't okay. So that was that's our fifth pod- podcast. Yeah. Racism's okay. No, no. no. I hate both. Blame people. Ian for this. He was I the one never who said, said it. it was okay. You, you did, never said though. you never said what was okay. Racism is bad to a certain nah, extent. I didn't say that. You didn't say that. I did actually say racism is bad to no, a certain extent. No, you didn't. Then I said racism is blank. Wait, did you say racism is bad to a certain extent? Yeah. What do you mean to the extent? Some things you can be racist about, and it's understandable. Okay, and Ian's actually wait, racist. Wait, wait, wait. He's he's actually actually racist. Explain one thing. Can I explain? Yes, I okay. want you to. That's what I asked. Right. What I mean is, to a certain extent, is the stereotypes. Such as, Asians are smarter. Stereotypes are different than racism. Yeah. If you stereotype someone, aren't you being racist? No. Them? Mexicans are hard workers. That's true. That's a stereotype, but that's not racism. That's why my gardener fact, is a, a Mexican. In fact, that's a compliment. Well, that's why my gardener is a Mexican. His name is Jose. He's wonderful. Jose the Mexican. Why do you have to say Jose but the like, Mexican? Racism is just like hating a race just because of their skin. Oh, you know? well, I don't like you, so. Well, I like Zach. Yeah. That's not a racist because, like, you just don't like me. Yeah, like most people. That's like, why you got rejected. If you hate all white people, then yeah, that'd be bad. Remember when you got rejected? Oh, uh, I just this watched <laughs> this Dr. Phil episode. Oh, why? Of this black girl. Oh, God. Who thought she was white. <laughs> Wait, what? Bruh. Yeah. She thought she was actually white? Yeah, this black girl thought she was white, and she was on Dr. Phil because of it. And, like, she was racist. No, I did, not only did she think she was white, she was racist to black people. What? <laughs> yes. Wait, okay. <laughs> she, uh, if, like, said things, and she she would always, she was like, I'm not ugly or stupid like black people are. I'm white, obviously. So, can she, does she ever say the N-word? No, she doesn't say the N-word. You yeah. can't say the N word on Dr. Phil. But yeah. she said Wait, retarded. okay, here's the thing. She said I'm not retarded like black people. Oh my god. If gosh. if I'm Dr. Phil I was quoting someone, I didn't say that. I was quoting someone. Wow, Zach. Whoa. Yeah, and then Dr. Phil was like, No, He's you can't say that. Someone, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Shut up. So yeah, that was a black girl who was racist to black people and thought she was white. What did Dr. Phil do to help her? Nothing. There's nothing only God can help her. Wait, now. the thing is just go up to her, put your hand to her, it's like Black, white. She bitch. believes that she's white. And honestly, it's kind of the mom's fault. That is, yeah. Well, because, like, her birth dad 
was black, but uh, the their is the mom, mom white? No, their mom's black, but their mom's boyfriend was white. So she thinks he's her child. But the thing child. is, the boyfriend died, and when the boyfriend died, that's when she was like, "Okay, I'll tell the kids the truth that the white guy's not their birth dad." So she lied about who their birth father was. Oh my gosh! So that girl thought her birth father was white, so she's like, "Well, my dad's white. I'm obviously white." But uh, if you see a picture of her, she is blacker than her mom, by a lot. She is like black. Her mom's like caramel. Okay. Hmm. Most of the kids that go on Doctor Phil, it's their parents' fault. The kids are yeah. messed up and should get a lot of immediate help, but it's always the parents' fault. Always. Yeah. Like Alex. Alex should go on Doctor Phil about his sexuality. <laughs> Figure this out. He will help you. Okay. That's it. Okay. Wait, are you agreeing? Oh, no, no. I'm oh. Just, I was just doing that earlier. I get it. I get it. No. Like, um, I'm straight. So, um, last week we mentioned um, Battle, Battle of the Bands. Battle of the Bands. Major thing that happened this summer for us. We Major lost. letdown. We lost. Thank you, Interest Bank Arena. Don't go Burton. there for concert. Where's Burton? No one cares. It's in Kansas. It's in Kansas. That's what I thought. No one cares where Burton is. I've never even heard of it until now. Me neither, but apparently they're better than us. So, but they're not. That's the funny part. I know. So tell the viewers what Battle of the Bands was. I have to? Okay, I'll do it. So yeah, uh, Battle you. of the Bands. No, Ian uh, has to. Fine, no, I will. I think everyone knows what this is. Ian has to. Everyone knows what Battle no, of the Bands is. No, I will. I will. It's obvious. I will. Fine, I will. I will. Fine. Fine. I will. Fine. Fine. I will. Crap, I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, so Battle of the Bands. There was, what, like six high schools in it? Something yeah, like that. I it wish there was more. Many. Yeah, I know. So there's like six high schools in it. And basically, we went into the, you know, the Wichita Force indoor football game team? Yeah, we have the worst football team ever. Yeah, anyway, they're bad. So we'd go to one of those games. Two bands would go each. And we would play. And then we'd go on the field and play songs. And then the audience, supposedly the audience, would choose who wins. Like, the, they won, they, whoever had the loudest cheer. Supposedly it's whoever had the most won. applause won. Yeah. But I don't know if that was always the case. I think the, the announcer just kind of chose whoever he wanted. I want anyway, his job. So, um, uh, so we, that, that's what Battle of the Bands is. Then, like, if you win, you keep going. If you lose, you're out. And we won the first time. First time we won. It's because... Was it Hayesville? No, it was, yeah, it was campus. Yeah, they were terrible. They were bad. That was completely understandable. Then, uh, Burton beat whoever they went against. And, and they did the exact same performance against yeah. them. Yeah, and then the thing is, like, the songs they played the first time that got them to win was Seven Nation Army and Sweet Caroline. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the, the first time they won, yeah, so there were two other high schools but they just dropped out of it. Oh, I was very confused. Okay. Yeah. So there's supposed to be two other high schools that yeah, we they dropped out. Yeah, we were supposed to have semifinals. And yeah. since they dropped out, then that just means that Clearwater and Burton went straight into the championship round. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So anyone want to pick it up from there? I've been talking we, a lot. We, we won, but we lost at the same time. I don't think that's how uh, it works. So, well, the prizes. Oh, yeah. First place won $4,000, and it was all to help their band. Which we needed. Whatever they needed. Second place yeah. would win $1,000, and we got second place for God knows what. What are we going to do about Branson now? Did we uh, make money from the mattress, though? No. I will say, I'm going to hear anything about that. Anyway, so, uh... Oh, wait, I have to sneeze. Or yawn. I don't know at this point. You're okay. yawning as you're um, talking. During the game... Like, each band would play a song before halftime. Halftime was when we would perform in front of everyone. So we would perform our song, and, like, everyone would cheer. And the other band would perform a song, and everyone would cheer. And then halftime came. And let me just say, like, this Battle of the Bands was so stressful for me. Because, like, we had to get the drum set and all the percussion instruments. It was terrible. It's so chaotic going, moving from one place to the other. Just to play one song, too. Moving all over the entire stadium. I've never been so stressed. Well, so, I hated it so much. Well, then there was when we first got there and we had to play outside. Yeah. We played for five people and it wasn't worth it. They made us play in front of people walking into the entrance bank arena and to get none tickets. Of them, none of them seemed enjoyed. 
No. Most of them actually hated, hated it. it, I bet. Yeah, yeah they I were quite annoyed. I hated it, too. Anyway, but, uh, so we played, what songs we played? We played, uh, YMCA. And Not our best song. We played some other song. What that was our second no song? No one in the boom, audience boom? knew what it was. No. no. Grass Explosion. Grass Explosion. Yeah. Which I bet none of you even know what that is. I'll say it's, it's just a, it's a popular song, but not like an audience song. Like it's not an audience song, no. And like YMCA, I thought that would have been a good one because like it gets the crowd involved. But the thing up is, there dancing. that's not our good song. But then I looked up there while we we're playing, and no, no one was dancing. Yeah, mm. it's not our best song. We don't play that very well. No, it doesn't sound good. Not if really. we if we played songs that the crowd actually knew, I feel like we probably would have won. Yeah. Like Burton did. They were smart. Anyway, so the first time they played, they played Seven Nation Army and Sweet Carolyn. We should have played that first. Now, the second time, they decided to play the same song. Mm -hmm. They They did the same exact show. Yeah, Girl Upside Down, pretty good. Dope. We We changed it up. We should have turned Lindsay Upside Down on the drum set. Cole should have done a backflip. Alex should have ran around more. What Burton did was stupid, okay? So there was this one girl on a bass drum with the harness on. All they did was have her lie on the ground, lying on the bass drum, and she would just play like that, upside down. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember that. It got the crowd so wild. The announcer was like, she's playing upside down. But I wasn't impressed at all. I I feel like I gave a much better show than that with my cowbell. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, because... I go ham on the cowbell, all right? But when we were there, I I put, like, my heart and soul into that cowbell. I was jumping all over the field mm-hmm. and trying to get every... I was trying to get the crowd involved, too. I was like, come on, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah help look. us. But that didn't really help. I'm now second drum set player. So there's, there's only two no drum set. Yeah. And actually, I don't even think yours broken. There's a freshman that I thought knew how to play. Oh, please. Who? I thought there was a freshman. We're only getting one no, freshman. They might, they might, they might be an one. eighth. Grade. Shut they up. They might be an eighth grader. Then. That's ridiculous. I'm doing, I'm stealing, um, Carol's carry, been wanting to no, do a Carry On Wayward Son from Alex. Can I be the second? He's doing Carry On and Final Countdown, the songs I hate the most to play on drums. Can I do Probably still set some more. Ian on drum set? Do what? Can I still Ian's spot on drum set? Yeah. Okay, sweet. You're a horrible drumline captain. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually uh, gay. Yeah. And I, I'm captain. telling Hibbler I'm not listening to you. Uh, Don't tell Hibbler, just don't do it. You know, that's a good yeah. point. I mean... I just won't listen to you. Yeah, I don't mean, listen to me. I'm a senior, and the brass captain is a sophomore. That's dumb. So... I'm, Seniority. You I'm, have to stay I, there until three. I'm, I'm the real, I'm the the real brass captain. Drum one. Oh yeah, uh, during band no during band camp like actual band camp yeah. you have to stay there till three since you're a captain you're required to stay there until three when everyone else can leave at twelve. I thought it was till three. No, no it's optional to stay after twelve. What are we doing? Unless you're a captain. What are we doing the rest of the time? I don't know, just more work because you're more important apparently. I'm okay with that. Too. So this is why I like my position because I'm the lead trumpet senior player. Which if you didn't know, lead trumpet. Like well, especially in jazz band. In jazz band, lead trumpet leads the band. Not in pep band. Pep band, it doesn't matter. Pep yeah. band is the drum major. But I'm a senior. I'm lead trumpet. I'm gonna do my own thing. Hey, and I'm just gonna tell trumpet. other people what to do. Okay, you're second. Trumpet. Yeah, it's okay, Zach. I'm second trumpet. You're second trumpet. To who? Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> to everyone. Everyone is first trumpet. I am second. Exactly. That makes. Sense. It sounds right. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 It's like Ro- Robbie's first. Yeah, he's not even in a band. He's not even in a band. He's first. You think we're gonna be hindered without Robbie? Robbie wasn't good. He was just loud. Yeah. He literally wasn't good at all. You know, I think the people at all left band, we can definitely deal without. Oh yeah, I just wish because all of them. Are I wish more people would have left band. That's true. Like <coughs> more than Russia. no, they're sophomores now. <coughs> sophomores. I wish more of the sophomores would quit band because they're annoying and they're just dragging the band down. Yeah. That's accurate. You know what I want? What? I want another good people. I want I another. Have, <laughs> I want another good people. Oh my god, that was some hard English there. <laughs> Isaac, Lebo. I, I, I want more people on drumline. Is line. he in band? Good. People. Yes. 
What does he do? He's a saxophone. Sax. Okay. Why is everyone saxophone? I don't know. But... He's a cooler. Wait, wait. Andy. How old is Noah's brother? He's not a Andy kid. Dang it! Nah. I yeah. Asked him um. This. Noah's brother's in, si- in seventh grade this year. What? Oh, really? He's yeah. Really he was good. in sixth grade. He's really good. Yeah. He he played in the jazz band. I know. He was Solo really, he was, sixth grader. Yeah, I know. He was amazing. Really good. But um, who else? Ethan's brother, Noah, I guess. Ethan's brother? Yeah. Oh, is that his name? Wait. Ethan. Oh my gosh. Ethan. He was a freshman. Ethan's a sophomore he now. Flight. He's oh, a trumpet, trumpet player. player. <laughs> I forgot about him because he's I just... in your section. <laughs> I don't call him Ethan. What do you, what call, do you him? call him? Last know. trumpet. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. It's accurate. You don't though. even know his name. Yeah. You can't say that. Maggie, I know. I knew his name was Ethan. We just never called him that. We just called you know him uh, short and Spanish. I'm gonna be completely honest, Maggie. Not Baja. I like you, but you and Ethan are last trumpet. Why did we and call you'll stay him? there. Baja. Baja no. blast. Baja <laughs> blast. We called him short in Spanish because he's Mexican and he's short. But <laughs> yes. But Baja is how you say short in Spanish. That's not what we called him. Though. You know, doesn't Baja mean cat? No. Oh, no, that's Bacho? Nope. That's... Boleto is ticket. Speak up. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know either. Gato? Gato! Gato is cat. Tomo arigato, Mr. Rabato. Tomo. Tomo. I don't know the band sucked. It hey, was man. terrible. I don't want to do that again. Never again. I don't care for Hey, we got $1,000. We can buy like half Nothing. A, we can buy half of a bass drum with that. It's all going to the Branson trip. Oh, well. It's like that $1,000 is only for bus. It's Branson going trip's going to gonna suck this year, guys. Because we're going with choir. We're going with the Are choir. Are we actually? Which means I don't know how I'm going to do that. Hold on. I'm in both now. Well, just do what Alex does. Yeah, you, you're just hanging out with Alex the whole time. You're going to be yeah, with Alex I don't like 24-7. That. I'm going to be with Alex so much. You guys are going to become gonna best friends. My... It's going to be cute. Alex, if you're listening, wash your crotch. <laughs> you get to smell that 24-7. <laughs> Uh, Do you get to sleep with him again too? Uh, no, I'm not sleeping in the same bed with him ever again. He snores so loud. It's, it's the worst thing fun. in the world. I- Ian remembers it. I I don't. It was so loud. It was echoing off you know, the walls. I wish I wish people from Clearwater didn't listen to our podcast, so I can talk about clear, people from Clearwater. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we kind of rip into some people sometimes. Yeah. But yeah. like when we do, they deserve it. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they'll see it that way. I don't way. know about that one. Well, you guys should do a roast podcast. <laughs> we should. A oh, roast that's a good idea. I like that, Riley. I like that. But Riley. I'm the only valuable contributor here. <laughs> You're Let not. We're the only ones talking, okay? But, Zach, this is a men's... your couch and wallow. This is a men's only podcast. Zach, it's kind of like you forgetting about Ethan. <laughs> if he listens to this podcast, he's going to be so sad. No, I you... didn't forget about you, Ethan. I just you forgot. forgot. <laughs> you didn't know his name. I did know his name. I just, I never called him that. You know what else band is getting? I just getting? don't remember what I called it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else band is getting? What? Five more clarinets. I'm going to shoot myself. We need more people on drum line. We are actually us. good. We need snare drummers. I'm and a- bass drums, because we can get rid of the entire drum line, or bass drum line. I'm getting rid of some trumpet players next year, because we're going to have a lot of trumpet players. I'm going to make some go to French horn. I'm going to make some go to bass Are you going to make them? Yeah. How so? I'm going to tell them to. Oh, okay. And I'm a senior, and they'll probably listen to me because they'll say it nicely. What if, like, they have no respect for you, but they only talk to uh, um, Ella? Yeah, what if they're brainwashed into that? Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but what if that does happen, though? What are you going to do? Cordo. You called him Cordo? Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you thought about this. I'm glad, you, I'm glad we finally figured that out. That's I had I, no idea what you were talking that's about. What we called I thought he was answering your question, but then Wait, I was like, what was the question? I said, what are you going to do if that actually happens? If they all just pay attention to Ella, Ella instead? And they have no respect for you. I won't care. Yeah. yeah I that... mean, she's technically brass captain. Like, go her. But she's only brass captain because I didn't sign up to be drum major. Mm-hmm. Heck, if I signed up to be drum major, I would probably be drum major right now. I didn't even sign up to be you know, a line captain. He, he just gave it to me. Well, yeah, I know. The thing is, yeah. he he told me, hey, he was, he said, hey, Zach, do you want to be drum major? And I said, no. And he's like, are you sure? I want you to be drum major. And I was like, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. I hate you, Zach. So the thing is, 
Instead, what he decided to do was he decided to ask people, do you want to be drum major? We're having tryouts now. He was just going to give me the position, but I didn't want to be drum major. What did you ask me? Did you want to be drum major? I want to be drum captain. Oh. Oh. Drum major? Don't you want to be drum major? No, fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Ah! No, Ah! no, 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 no effort. No efforts. Believe. No. Do we get a slap? We got a. We got a I have not made. I have not made contract. <laughs> okay, we'll bleep that one out too, yeah. unless Ian forgets. I really hope he remembers. Twenty-five thirty-two. That's the number <laughs> I'm remembering. Oh my gosh. I now have several numbers to do. <laughs> Why are there three? Fudge. Fudge. Nah, no, dang no, it! No, I don't have to do that one. Nah, no, we don't have to do what? that one. Fudge is all right. No, I I'm, know, but we. It's when, a joke. When you said fudge the first time, he was gonna bleep you out to make it sound like he said something bad. Oh, uh, okay. This is. These are not accurate numbers. They're just to tell me like what area to look. For. Yeah. Okay. No cuss words in our family friendly. Sorry time. again. Because we're school. On my too note. late now to say. Uh, Darth Plagueis the Wise. <laughs> 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 you probably haven't heard of it. That's a great meme. No, okay. Um. On my notes, I actually have several things that I'm going to be taking for our next D and D section, and I'm really excited to implement. Oh, uh, are me and Alex gonna become gods? No. No. Shut up. <laughs> um, there's a new combat system. Oh, boy. oh no. A new magic system. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, several characters are changing I'm only stuff. Ag- I'm only agreeing with this if I get the, the fiddle. I'm only agreeing with this if you lower the AC. If you lower the AC and give me the devil's fiddle, I'll Well, agree. here's the thing. I don't care if you guys agree or not. Give me the devil. Nah, then we're not playing. Yeah. Get out. We quit. We'll make no one object with you. <laughs> You'll make them. Yeah. No, we'll just make our own D and D campaign. You know, no, stick with me. No, right? will. No, will stick with me, bro. No, will stick with me, bro. No has. You realize, realize Noah is literally one of my best friends. He has a man crush on Zach. Does he? Honestly, he kind of does. He's not gay though. Hey, Noah, what's up? <laughs> Noah, are you gay? Uh, Answer Noah's the not gay. He just. A lot of people think he is because he's quiet and he hangs out with guys and he doesn't have any interest in girls. He doesn't, but it's okay. Okay, Most of our guy let me just like tell that, you, though. the yeah. combat system is much better. What is it? Do you want me to tell you? No, though? just wait till Actually, yeah, yeah, I don't, don't tell me. Yeah, um, the magic system makes a lot more sense. It only makes sense unless you're Roger and you don't know how hard combat wait, wait. checks work. That's, the magic system <laughs> is going to be changed to um, where Roger can't constantly use detect magic on detect any magic, single thing. Detect, yes. de- detect magic. Take magic. Yeah, it's gonna be like more like a mana system. Like you have this much mana. Thank goodness. I, I like that. I like yeah, that's that. That's good. The character changes. Like I'm just gonna tell you, Zach. I won't tell Alex because he has. To, he'll figure out later. But um, you know how you have all of these healing spells? Yeah. Those are gone. All of them? Yes, I'm sorry. Good. I didn't want them. Good. Because I do not want everyone to have a million health. Healing points. Wait, why'd you get rid of my healing spell? Get rid of freaking Noah. He's like, oh no no Noah also took away his. Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't. I still have mine, right? Yeah, so you I'm, still I'm have cleric. yours. Um, yeah, also yeah, yours, clerics and paladins yeah, are supposed yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah that's why. Um, yeah. also, I Thank actually made an entire yeah. list of like the skills and stuff that like you guys take time to like learn. Like oh, um, like geez. how you guys went to like the forest, you studied, you went on that trip with Omar. I'm a bard now. Give me the devil. Yeah. Piece. It's like that. Like I just made a list of how it all works. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I I stayed up until like one one night and just I stayed wrote up until seven playing Minecraft. I, d- I stayed up until three last night playing Minecraft. I played. I stayed up till like ten o'clock last night and fell asleep. I really You're that's in, that's late for you. That's that's when I always fall asleep. Oh, uh, that's sad. Okay, so uh, actually, let's talk about Minecraft and its resurgence into society. Minecraft. It's the tenth year anniversary of Minecraft. Is that the only reason it's actually coming back? PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Yeah. Okay, that see see that's not actually why because Honestly, yeah. I have not watched PewDiePie. Yeah, Minecraft actually it, it came back before PewDiePie. Yeah, mainly PewDiePie because everyone's tired it. of Fortnite. Everyone's tired of Apex. So they're like, let's go back to the let's original go back meme. To the OG. The OG memes. I really Minecraft. hope um all the old Minecraft YouTubers who died come back now. Like, Several of them have like. Some of the old Minecraft YouTubers I watched, like who, um, Aviator Gaming, um, Big Mac Nation. What about Sky does Minecraft? No, he he he, he, he made a new sh- he deleted his channel. Yeah, and he made a new channel. He Sadly, makes, makes music. Captain Sparkles is back on Did Minecraft. You know that? 
I'm, I'm there, but that's really He makes really music now. It's that's crappy music. It's not good. It's so really not good. It's, it's not just... the next Joji, Adam. And then, uh, some of them, some of the Minecraft YouTubers keep playing Minecraft, and it's kind of surprising. Like, they've been playing Minecraft the entire time. Mm-hmm. I know Ant Venom has. Uh, Sunday. Sunday, too. Um, Captain Sparkles is back on Minecraft. Wow, I forgot he existed. Me, I too. I never watched him. I didn't like I didn't him. The Yogcast also does Minecraft now. Wow. They're pretty dope. These are all major YouTubers that fight me. Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, Pocket Edition. Okay, go mm-hmm. home. Don't you have a computer? No. You I mean, a laptop. you have a computer at your house. Yes, you do. It's in the shop. No, wait, wait. He has a computer at your house. My dad's? Yeah. I'm not going to use my dad's. You don't use when, your, when your laptop gets back, just buy Minecraft. Oh, I'm not getting that back. Oh, Ever? What? what do you mean? My mom said that um, the repairs would be 500 bucks. At that point, I don't want to get that computer back. Because it wasn't even that good. I might as well just get a new laptop in that case. You can get a new one for $500. It would be better than that. Exactly. What so, did you even do to thousand? You just broke the screen, yeah. right? Yeah. I just, 500 bucks and it broke no, the screen? No, okay. So it broke the screen, but it also tampered with the motherboard. Oh, apparently, gosh. and broke that. The screen replacement, it was just a 150 Oh. But it hit the motherboard too, and that was like three fifty. Yeah, okay, I understand that. Yeah. yeah, I just told her not to worry about it anymore. So she threw it away. I don't know. I don't know. Did you have anything there. important on there? No. I mean, like everything's on Google. You Google say, Drive. You, okay, do you have everything on Google? Google Drive, yeah. I need yeah. to start doing that. That's like where yeah, all it's my. That's probably writing. a good idea, Ian. That's where all my writing. I just start. don't trust Google. <laughs> Why? It's literally like the safest. I I learned it automatically saves for you on Google Docs. I, I know. know. I use Google Docs for everything, but like I actually prefer Word over Google Docs. Really? Okay. Yeah, Google Docs is a lot like easier. And Word does have a lot more stuff. options. Exactly, and I like that better. It just doesn't save automatically, and that's what I like about Google Docs. Why are we learning Word? Why do they learn Word in computer apps? If because most businesses use. still use Microsoft products. That's stupid. I hope it's not like that forever. Probably won't be. Microsoft is almost out the drain. Google is becoming a uh, monopoly. Do you know how they work? I told Alex this. Mm -hmm. So, um, Google itself is owned by the company of Alphabet. Yeah, Alphabet Incorporated. Yeah. Um, the board of Alphabet is completely influenced by Google. Wait, what? So you know how like we all like we use Google for news and stuff. Yeah. We watch videos on Google and stuff. The board members, every single one of them, uses Google. Like, they've all admitted this. They use Google for their main, um, like, um, engine, search engine. Well, obviously. Google influences each individual of Alphabet. Oh, my gosh. Google please. has monopolized oh, that. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, when I heard that for the first time, I was like, what would this be called? Because, like, you're controlling the person that controls you. Google has become self-aware. Guys. <laughs> Google's what? alive. Oh god, that's what? T- that's terrifying to think about. I downloaded Audacity from Google. Do you oh, think man. they're listening in right now? <laughs> yes. Probably. They're probably figuring out my social security you know number what? somehow. Also, just talking about stuff. Me. I'll tell I- you. Five one. Uh, oh. <laughs> starts with the five. Yeah. Like most people in Kansas. I'll uh, say most people in the U.S. My social security number is. Five. Most people in the U.S. It's only in the U.S. though. Yeah, I know. That's not true. Other countries do have social security. Like who? Great Britain has social security. Well, that's only because we're English speaking. We're best no, no, no. Pals with them. It's not just an English thing. Multiple countries have it. It's like uh, social security is not a new is plan. America best buds with England until the Fourth of July. Then we're just like, ha! Take that. We we're the you. best. Screw you. And then the next day we're like, yeah, England's our friend. <laughs> Um, another thing me and Alex have listened to or we've talked about is Alex Jones. Oh, no. You know he's been banned from YouTube, right? For a very long time, yeah, yes. Forever. I uh, yeah, not allowed to come back. But no, um, me and Alex were at, in his room the other day. We were just lo- watching um, parts of the Joe Rogan um, interview with um, Alex Jones. Okay. Yeah. This is so um, we watched the best part. Alex Jones was talking about how NASA and, um, what was it, uh, MI6? For the UK, MI6. Yeah, um, both of them are like puppet, 
or like offspring government um, governments of Nazi Germany and how Nazi Germany was influenced by aliens. Let's take a minute to process that. Boys, September is coming. <laughs> September 20th. September 20th is coming. We are raiding Area 51. <laughs> I did we not are... know about that until yesterday. Really? Yeah, my dad it's, had to tell me about it's it. It's happening. Oh my god. Did he see did, that um, guys, the Nevada flights are I actually know. like the skyrocketed? Thing, this actually could happen. The thing is, no, 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 no. A lot of famous celebrities have even like posted on social medias, I'm in. Are you serious? Like, are they joking or are being no, serious? No, it sounds, I mean, they're probably doing it for the they joke. They would but die I mean, like, so quickly. Like, they, Dwayne The Rock Johnson said it, and he's tough. Now here, now <laughs> That's here's not what the now point. here's how I know that the people are gonna win. Chuck Norris said I'm in. Oh. Keanu Reeves said I'm in. Oh God. <laughs> we got John Wick and Chuck Norris, boys. <laughs> Bro. We're, get, we're getting in there. Here's we're the, getting some new you know aliens. You know how Area 51 is like sent, like made. Yeah. It's a base within a base. Yeah. There's 30 miles of desert from the closest road to get to the base. That 30 miles is what is known as a bombing area. Like, they do test bombing. Meaning they can freely bomb that area if they want. Meaning if people try to get in, they will get bombed. Yeah, but do you know how much ridicule the U.S. government would get? And there would be destruction in the cities. And, like, cities would be Oh, yeah, down this will be a war. This will be a civil war if Yeah, this civil war is going to start if these like, this try is to so raid stupid. Area 51. Everyone's like, want their, want their guns now, too. Try and, uh, Second amendment, am I right? Yeah, they're going to uh, exercise their Second Amendment rights to invade Area 51. Yeah. But the thing is, if they don't die from bombing, it's 30 miles of just plain desert. There is no, like, oasis out there, no water, nothing. Just desert. They flat have vehicles. Desert. Vroom, vroom, drive. Air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> um, vroom, vroom, drive. Have you guys heard of Bob Lazar? No. No? Shabazz Lamar? I wish. Powdered Zard? No, uh... <laughs> Bob Lazar was on Joe Rogan's podcast, like, a few weeks ago. He's pretty much, like, he's like an alien guy, okay? Oh, boy. He says, um, he's worked on Area 51. Ex he said it wasn't Area 51, but another base. So he said Area 51 is, like, completely different. Yeah. Then, like, they don't mess with aliens and stuff. But anyways, he was a scientist hired by the government to work on this alien site. And this was in the 80s. And he said that he worked on, like, a UFO ship, and he was, like, up close, one-on-one -on -one with the ships, and, like, they were completely different than anything they ever imagined. But, um, I don't know. I kind of forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's it. So, Basil Lamar and UFOs. I don't, I don't know, but, um, Bob Lazar, he sounded pretty cool. Like, he actually sounded like he was telling the truth, because, um, he's a genius, for one. He built... Uh, he put in his Honda car a jet engine and had it run up to 200 miles per hour every day. That's just what he drove to work. So he's a pretty smart guy. Is that considered guy. genius? He's not really... Uh, uh, I think that's considered like... That's not really genius. Well, I mean, he's just a smart Possible guy. Possible obstruction of property. <laughs> I'll say a Lamborghini can get I to I think he just made like a nuclear weapon by <laughs> strapping a rocket engine yeah. to like a Honda Civic. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing with Area 51, the alien myth mm -hmm. about it. Because Area 51, it's an uh, air base. And what they used to fly there were brand new jets. Like, just like those um, full black um, bomber jets. The SR-71 Blackbird? Yeah, yeah, those. That's like the first thing they flew there. Like the first new plane. Um, when they started flying them, they only flew them at night. They also flew what was known as the fastest plane at the time. The SR-71 Blackbird? Yeah. Is that the same plane? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, they flew them at night. It still is one of the fastest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still is. And when a person at night sees a light going that fast, and they've never seen something that fast, alien. it's an alien. And they're technically correct, because they are unidentified flying objects, which is a UFO. So that's the whole entire like alien myth with Area 51. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that there aren't aliens. In any secret military site. I don't think aliens exist. I believe some type of alien exists. I believe that, uh... They're down in Mexico. They snort cocaine. Okay. Illegal aliens, aliens exist. <laughs> California says otherwise. What do you think about aliens, Zach? No. 
We don't think they exist no. either. Yeah. They have no rights. Okay, now racism is okay. It's not <laughs> racism. Ian, you is said okay. it yourself. Okay. Okay. You can't. It's not racism because what about Wait, Canadians? Is this the plane you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know if you're talking about the S, the the Lockheed Blackbird or the Lockheed. Uh, Nighthawk. Oh, well, also the night, yeah, the Nighthawk, which yeah, is also Nighthawk. one. The that Nighthawk was also flown. That one? Yeah, that used to be flown here at McConnell. Yeah, I know. Secretly. Oh, really? Yes. How long ago was that? When it first came out. When was that? I don't know. Long time ago. Because yeah. I remember when I was six oh, years Lord old, help. I was warming up one of those soft pretzels in the microwave. <laughs> this is such a dumb story. I was putting salt on it, and I was I was close to the kitchen window. And I looked outside as I was putting salt on it at night, and I just saw like this big black, like shadow, flying across the sky, like covering up all the stars. Kind of like, uh, toothless from How to Train a Dragon. That one scene where he's flying in the sky. Yeah. It reminded me a lot of like that, and like you had no lights on, like no airplane lights whatsoever. Oh, it, they have lights. All planes have lights. It's quiet. I don't think this one did. It definitely did it. it yeah, it all even it. secret planes have lights. It's, it's just a safety thing. Okay, then it's prob probably did. But anyways, I thought that was an alien UFO ship mm. and it scared the crap out well, of me. Well, the thing is, when you were six, it is still possible because those planes didn't like become public knowledge until about uh, two thousand eight. Uh -huh. Dude, that was that was when I was six. I when I said that, I realized you were six. <laughs> right when I said that, I was like, 2008, that's six years ago. I yeah. remember that night school vividly, too. Like, I was watching I was like, remember a soft pretzel? That, uh, watching New Avengers? Yeah, while eating I a soft hated pretzel. That I hated it, too. Like, that's also why I Was that the that. one on Disney Channel? No. Which one was that? It was just like... Oh, one on Disney Channel was Avengers Assemble. That was on Disney XD. Yeah, I remember watching that. I didn't like what that. What is New Avengers? Isn't that like... Is that like it young was like Justice? all the Avengers kids. And that's like, it's young, so it's, it's Young Justice. Young God Justice. dang it. Yeah. Which one's newer or older? Uh, young Justice is older. Okay. Marvel does that a lot with DC. They steal stuff. Both of them steal from each other. Like so Deadpool. Deadshot. Deadpool was a uh, copycat of Deathstroke. Uh, Deathstroke. Deathstroke. My bad. Man, because like a pool. You, yeah. You stroke in a pool. Cause Iron Man and Batman. Dead death. Iron Man and Batman are a lot I like, feel like yeah. Batman's related to someone way more than just Iron Man. I don't know who, but I feel like Iron Man's not really uh, that close to Batman. Oh, uh, Batman and Moon Knight. I, Captain Marvel and Superman are like the same person. That's very true. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'd say her and Your Wonder Woman. Your chair just ate my phone. I, my phone's right here. Oh, it spat it right back out. I, what? I say Wonder Woman... And Captain Marvel, more like. Wow. Why would you throw your. That was stuff rude, at my Riley. How dare you? No comment? We are all just staring at Riley right now. Good talk. Oh boy. Okay, let's continue. This uh, is why you do not bring your couples to work, Zach. I didn't. Work help. She showed up. You're fired. I hate you. <laughs> son. Okay, so uh, how far in are we? We are a solid forty-three minutes. Okay. In this entire podcast, we really have not had a topic, which I'm proud we of. We talked about Battle of the Bands. That's literally all we talked about, like yeah, topic wise. It is all we talked about. <gasps> Battle of the Bands. Really? Talk about your band. Uh, <gasps> you have a band. Def no, I said that wrong already. The Wolf. Dog Boys United Square, Square the, the band, band, the band, band Incorporated. The incorporated. You know, can can, can you just slay it slower into the mic? No, they Please? heard it the first time. I, I wanted if to they be... really want to, to hear it again, they'll just rewind the track. Um, Give us more viewing time. <laughs> so it's Zach. Zach does tambourine. Tambourine. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Josh Kelly, a guy from our church, does the vocals. Lead vocals and guitar. See a good singer. And then yeah. I do drums. And and it's a three-man band. It's a three-man band. Wow. Yeah. Alien weapon. Um, we already got most of our first album uh, played out. We just need to record it. Yeah. True. What are the songs called? My um, Uncle Roy. Oh, okay. Wait, what? You, what? Isn't it My Uncle Roy? Oh, no. My friend named Roy. Friend like Roy. Friend like Roy. 
We're not gonna talk about that one. Yeah, no. I, yeah, I know this one. <laughs> um, I like this one. What else did we? Of course, do? you would like this one. Hey! Wow. I may have Uncle Nimoy. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think the other ones really had titles. Oh, we, we had all... titles. We, they just weren't good enough. They're like most of our Degenerates podcasts, untitled. No, we have titles for ours. If I choose to put them. You always do. I always make great titles. Yeah. It's after I. It's after I go back We're and back. listen to them. We're back. We're back. Three months later, we're back. Um, what will this title be? We're not back. We're not back. No, that'll be. Uh, Did we talk one... about Alex's sexuality today? Uh, I don't know. I'm straight. Was that this podcast? I can. I can. I, I think it was two weeks ago. <laughs> we no, get our own. Was last week. <laughs> oh God. I think it was two weeks ago. Okay, I don't care anymore, guys. This is why we don't do podcasts on the same day. Because <laughs> yeah, we get we're just gonna, mixed yeah, up. Yeah, all of these have been recorded on the same day. Like, oh my god. This one, last week, and the week before. As, I'm, I don't remember like what the first things we were talking about are, so I I'm just going to repeat them. I don't know at this point. We no. talked about Cthulhu, right? No, that we already did that today. Oh, wait, that was three months ago. No, that was like <laughs> half a year ago. That was in season one, okay? Season we're in, one. We're in, season two. You see, the difference between season Wait, one... Wait, we have a second season, season already finished. What? We can start third season. Dude, okay, yeah, no, we got no, in three... No, <laughs> no, that's the difference between season one and season two. Season one, we went week by week. Season two, we are productive. We get three at a time. We're doing three at a time, and that way we don't have to find time to record every week. Yeah. We find one time every month, and we do a month's worth... Month, uh, months worth in one day. It bada works. boom, bada boom again. Yeah, just three hours of our lives wasted talking to each other. Yeah. You know so, what? That would become good friends. Yeah. Or yeah. we learn to hate each other more. Yeah. I still love you all. Of course we do. You and your sexuality, we don't know. Talk to Dr. Phil. <laughs> I wish. You think you're black, bro? <laughs> Dude. I wish I was if black Alex so I could say the N word. I'll say if Alex was black, he would non stop say the N word. Yeah, that's the only reason why he wants to be black. And I'd be cool and strong. Because you're black does not mean you're cool and We're strong. That's the what stereotype. they thought in Get Out. Back with the stereotype. God. All black people are strong. And. Apparently, according to Ian, they have another bone in their leg. That's not according to me, faster. that's scientific. It's According proven. to Ian, there's another bone in the According to Ian, it's scientific. <laughs> it's been proven! According, According to Ian, Ian, it's been proven. proven. According to Ian, Alex is freaking gay. According to Ian, racism is good. Okay, racism is okay. <laughs> you know what? Okay. If you're racist, be racist. Don't hold back. Be racist. Just don't be racist towards me, because that's offensive. Ian is now promoting racism. Yes. Okay, guys, we have currently been sponsored hey, um, by racism. Chuck Reitberger... If you watch this week for like some reason, this is going. can you please get me into your um, cousin's clan? I, I don't Air like quotation this. marks around that. I don't like that. where this is going. I don't care. I don't like where this is going. We all know it's, he, he's in the photo. Uh, <gasps> that's what we're going to talk to him about when he comes on. <laughs> That's a bad idea. <laughs> what is all a bad idea? <laughs> we probably shouldn't be talking about this, but we already are. Can we stop this now? Yeah, no. we need it. Yeah, we're done. Okay. Uh, we're only my, at 48. I'm Zach. I'm Alex. I'm the Jew Knobloch. Uh, of course, he's special. Okay, to sum it up today, uh, Alex sexuality. sexuality. <laughs> uh, I'm straight. Sexuality. Uh, Dr. Battle Phil. Battle of the Bands. Dr. Phil. Is black. Dr. <laughs> right? That was that the conversation was? Uh, exactly. Um, this week is the exact same as last week and the week before. Why me? Why? Okay. Why me? <laughs> <All right. laughs> this has been the Degenerates Podcast. Um, thank you guys for listening. Um, we love you. Oh my god, that scares me. And we'll see you at Area 51 on September 20th. Goodbye.